Hello YouTube. Today's flight takes us from Doha to Washington DC. We're going to fly across Saudi Arabia, up through Europe, across the North Atlantic, and down the eastern seaboard. This flight will take about 14 hours and 20 minutes. Today's flight will be on this Boeing 777-300. This aircraft is about six years old at the time of this filming. This is just one of the pieces of art that you can find at the Doha airport. I didn't have much time today so no lounge review and I do have reviews of both the first class lounge and the business class lounge in my profile if you care to go take a look. Today I'm going to be in Q Suite 1A. Seat Guru has a caution on this seat due to the proximity to the galley and the lavatories. However, uh, it's right here, easily accessible. Three big windows. Uh, it's one of my favorite seats on board this aircraft. This is a Boeing 777. The in-flight entertainment screen is one of the largest in the business and it's very clear, very nice. One of the subtle differences between the Boeing 777 and the A350 is the A350 does have a USB port right here along the bottom of the IFA screen, whereas on the Boeing 777 the USB is missing. The Q suites all have this little storage feature next to the seat. It's a nice little compartment, put your wallet, your change, anything you don't want falling out of your pocket. There's a bottle of water in there, get your noise canceling headset in there. Uh, makes it real convenient to store your stuff and uh, not have a mess. Got a nice light and a little hanger up here too to, to hang your jacket on it. Quick tour around the seat here. Um, there is a universal electrical plug right there. I keep a battery plugged into that. Then I keep both my iPhones plugged into the battery. There's another USB port over here I can keep my GoPro plugged into, keep all my cameras charged up. Seat controls you see along the top there. There's an HDMI over here if you want to plug your computer in and actually put your computer screen up on the big screen do some video editing. The controller here is kind of like a Game Boy controller or a PS3 controller. It just pops out. Uh, you've got everything on here. you got your call button, your lights. You control your screen up there, your moving map. Makes it very convenient. You can use, either use the big screen or the small remote here. As you can see, there's a wide variety of movies, a little bit of uh, something for everyone, I hope. There are Hollywood movies, Arabic movies, television programming in Arabic, Al Jazeera news. Most of the movies are in two or three or four languages and there's subtitles if the language isn't in the audio. Comedies, drama, US television shows. Internet is available for $10. It works well. I enjoy it. I purchase it almost every time. I chose not to order breakfast. I had just gotten off a flight that uh, served breakfast, so I went with a rocket salad. There's a hot roll and a croissant that came with it with some butter and some uh, orange marmalade. The salad was pretty good. It was just some uh, bitter greens, a little bit of radish, had some fruits and berries in it, uh, tomato. Uh, to me, it just seemed like it would be better than having another breakfast within a couple of hours. Qatar Airways is still providing pajamas, so I like to uh, change so I don't get my clothes all wrinkled up while I'm flying. And while I was putting my pajamas on, the crew turned the seat into a life lap bed. They're very attentive. And Time to queue up a movie here and see if that won't put me to sleep. It's a long flight, so I'll try to get four or five hours of sleep somewhere in the middle before I wake up and have some dinner. After about six hours of sleep, the flight attendant woke me up like I'd uh, ask. It's uh, getting time to order some dinner, so let me get settled in and uh, see what's on the menu. The appetizer is a lobster salad with prawns, bread, butter, glass of wine. 
The main course is a seared salmon and scallops. It's got a buttery lemon cream sauce. There's some mixed vegetables there, and it also comes with a serving of brown rice. Dessert was a simple bowl of mixed berries with some sweetened rose water. Uh, very simple, very tasty. Just a quick look around the suite while it's in the configuration for flight. It's very cozy, uh, very private. It's got a door. People can see over the top, but you see right here there's a door that keeps you closed off from everything else. All right, let's go in and take a look at the bathroom real quick. All right, I'm not a big fan of the Lou review, as some bloggers call it, but I do get a lot of comments asking to, to show the business class bathrooms. As you can see, it's fairly spacious. It is an airplane bathroom, so not huge, but uh, Qatar Airways keeps the bathrooms very, very clean in the business class. Uh, after someone uses the bathroom, the flight attendant normally goes in and cleans it. They do have shaving kits, toothbrushes, there. You've got lotion, soap, uh, there's a moisturizer, some place to plug in an electric razor if you happen to have brought one with you. You don't want to drink the water, but there are little cups here so you can rinse after you brush your teeth. Getting towards the end of the flight here, and I've got to pick up a rental car, find my hotel, and it's going to be late in the evening, so I really didn't want to have to go find something to eat after I landed. ordered the uh, cream of mushroom soup with the croutons and the bread right there. It's really nice, just a kind of a quick filler. And then I had the open face shredded beef sandwich here, and it had a nice little salad that went along with it. All in all, it was very tasty, really hit the spot. It was about an hour before we landed that I'd ordered this. Really comfortable flight. Here's a picture of the aircraft. I didn't get one before I boarded, which I normally do. This is the uh, Boeing 777-300 that I just spent 14 hours and 19 minutes on. Uh, we've arrived at Dulles. Um, not a big fan of Dulles, but that's another story, so we'll leave that one alone for now. Just to sum up my flight experience today, the food was fantastic. It always is on Qatar Airways. The flight attendants, the crew were great. Had a really smooth ride today, didn't have any turbulence whatsoever. And the in-flight entertainment and the internet worked the entire flight, so another, uh, another great flight with Qatar Airways.